about 14 years uh, being in an uh, abusive relationship my mom at a young age my mom struggled with three children my father was there but not there and I actually started smoking weed as a child and then went from smoking weed I actually turned into the Percocets and uh, around that time I actually had my first child and then after my first child about 12 years later I wind up doing the same thing over again, doing the perks, drinking, you know, running the streets, not being there 100% for my first child. Second child, my mom was there, me still not being a mother I should have been, doing the drugs. Then I had two more children. Then I started doing dope. Uh, I was doing dope for about two years and, you know, I started smoking crack after that. Um, I have four children all together. Actually, back to being a child, I was molested, you know, for about seven years throughout my life and then raped about two years ago. Um, from this point on, my children is not with me due to the drugs and running the streets and not being a, you know, 100% mother to my child my children I should say and um, you know it's hard it's not easy it's a struggle out here and once you're down here it's like hard to you know leave from down here it's like the devil pulling you you know and it's not easy it's it's really hard and I just want to be the the mother that I should be to my children and then not only that you know being pregnant now I'm off the dope, but I'm still smoking, you know, cocaine. And it's not easy, it's hard. And I just want to get off and get help and be a great mother to my children because I'm an actual great mother. And it's not easy. And I just want to say that, you know, I love my children dearly. And I just want to be back in their life a hundred percent like I should be. say a, a, the devil I always say the devil you know takes over you and it's, it's definitely the devil and it, it's a struggle and in order for me to get my high every day I do boost I boost every single day just to get high and you know it, it's it's how would I say this uh, it, it's definitely 
basically uh, you you either do it or you don't it's like not only if that if you don't boost it's like selling your body and that's something I would never do so I actually choose to boost to, to support my habit and that's what I do every single day is boost to support my habit to smoke cocaine and it's something that I want to change. I don't want to be like this no more. I want to change my life. I want to get out of Kensington. And that's something that I need to work on. And it's not easy, it's hard. Um, I would say between six and 15 a day. It, it's 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 a mind thing. It's it's something that you you want. It's not something that you need. It's it's basically like a chaser. Like you want that same high that you get when you first take that first hit. It's like a, a, a instant rush. It makes you feel like like your body feel. I would say numb, basically. You know, and that's why I do smoke it to take my pain away. I've been through, you know, being molested as a child, raped as an adult, and growing up as seeing my father abuse my mother. And not only that, I've actually been abused with my oldest child's father around 15, 16 years old. Being abused, just seeing my mother and father, that's the same thing happened to me as a child. And I'm just so full of pain that it's so hard to get myself back to, you know, normal. And it's not easy, it's hard. That's why I'm on the streets and I'm getting high to cover the pain up. And how many months pregnant are you? I'm not even sure, probably around five months pregnant. I can't. Um, I couldn't even tell you, to be honest with you, because not only me, my child's father, you know, I'm just thinking about his side because he lost his mom at a young age, and his father about almost two years ago, and he's actually going through a struggle. We started on Percocets, and he's still doing dope, and he's trying to cover his pain, and by seeing, you know, him struggle and go through the pain, it hurts me. So, you know, that's the same reason why I get high, to cover the pain, not only for that, for him, because we've been together for 15 years. You know, we got three children, he raised my oldest, and then I um, have one on the way. So, you know, it's not, it's not easy out here, it's, it's rough. And that's the reason why we get high, to, you know, to cover our pain up. The night may waste all we give in, but honestly, to get back with my children, to have a beautiful home, and to start my life all over again, and, and and you know be a working woman and have you know and give my kids the world. You've gotta know that this ain't living. But we can run. Stay away from the people who are on drugs because it'll lead you right into them and, and, and bring you down. And you'll wind up being just like them. And I, I advise you to stay away from people who are into to the streets and in the drugs. It's, it's, it's definitely going to bring you down and, and you're going to become what they are being around the people that get high. I've, I've actually can say that for myself. I've, it actually happened to me. So I advise you just to stay away from anybody that's getting high or anybody that's in the streets that's doing wrong. Stay away from them. And, and be the best mother, if you're a mother, be the best mother you can for your kids. And keep them away from the drug area, you know, because It'll definitely, you. it's a definitely a, a trap. You've got to know that nothing lasts forever. Uh, 
I love you guys dearly. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. And <laughs> I love you guys with all my heart. And I would never ever turn my back on you guys ever again. Uh, the message to the world is I want to get myself together and get help and be back with my children, you know, and get off the streets. You know, being homeless is not a place to be and having nothing. To having something, to having nothing at all, I definitely need to get help. I can't believe The night lay waste all we give in But honestly You've gotta know that this ain't living But we could run And let it burn, let it burn You've got to know that nothing lasts